This week's weekly safety meeting topic will discuss how to use crystal and silica table one, as well as how to use the OSHA eight gallon HEPA vacuum and its attachments. As you can see, table one, which is located in the safety reference folder of Procore, rig mounted drills use tool equipped with integrated water delivery systems that supplies water to the cutting surface. No required respiratory protection is required when using rig mounted drills. Handheld and stand mounted drills, including impact and rotary hammer drills, use drills equipped with commercially available shroud or cowling with dust collection systems. The dust collectors must provide the airflow recommended by the tool manufacturer or grader and have a filter with 99% or greater efficiency and a filter cleaning mechanism. Use a HEPA filtered vacuum when cleaning holes. As you can see, no required respiratory protection is required when using impact and rotary hammer drills. Same information can be found in the Table 1 PDF located in the Safety Reference folder of Procore. The Milwaukee HEPA vacuum comes with two liners, a plastic and a cloth. The plastic liner must be placed inside the vacuum first, and the cloth liner will sit inside of the plastic liner. This makes cleanup easier once the cloth liner is full. This picture shows another angle of how the plastic liner sits inside the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum. The liner should hang over the sides of the Milwaukee vacuum. This picture shows how the plastic liner hangs over the sides of the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum. This picture shows how the cloth liner sits inside of the plastic liner inside the Milwaukee 8 gallon HEPA vacuum. Once the cloth liner is full, Pull the white strap from under the plastic liner over the top and remove the plastic and cloth liner for disposal. Replace the cloth and plastic liner before using the HEPA vacuum again. This picture shows how the plastic liner should hang over the sides of the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum. The following video will show how to properly use the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum. This is the position for off. If you turn it to the drill icon, the drill or other tool will activate the HEPA vacuum. These two features here shut the automatic cleaning off of the HEPA filters if you were sucking up wet material. We won't use those. This feature over here makes the HEPA vacuum run at all times. You can adjust the speed of the vacuum using this knob here. This is where you plug in the grinder or the drill attachment for the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum. So here we will unroll the, the cord for the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum. Once we have it unrolled, we will put on our attachment. All the attachments will be kept inside of the Milwaukee HEPA vacuum. To put on the attachments, you will need to reverse thread them onto the hose. So I, as you can see here, I have taken the old attachment off and I'm using reverse threading to put the new attachment on. When threading the new attachment on, you can look inside to make sure that it is completely seated on the hose. Once you have the attachment on, you can attach your device. Now that we have the hose and the attachment done, we will use the large concrete hammer drill to drill into this piece of concrete. Because the HEPA filters are auto cleaning, the suction will at times stop. Reposition the suction of the attachment and continue drilling. When looking at the operator's manual for the vacuum, you can turn to the first page and see that you do not want to expose to rain. You want to keep it stored indoors. Do not use without filters in place. This dust extractor is compliant with table one of OSHA standard. Turning to page two, you can see the replacement parts for the HEPA filter, main filter, plastic dust bag, and cloth bag. Turning to page three, you can see the directions for installing the hose hooks. Also, it shows how filters can be clogged during heavy use and how to empty and change the filter bag and clean them periodically. It recommends doing this after approximately 200 holes at 5 8 inch diameter. The next page shows how to install and change the fleece dust bag, install the hose and accessories, 
clean and change the main filter, change the HEPA filter, and select the airspeed. Filters can become clogged during heavy use. To maintain the efficiency of the dust extractor, empty or change the filter bag and clean all the filters periodically. Milwaukee suggests cleaning the filters after 200 holes at 5 8 inch diameter. Turning to the next page, you can see what to do when picking up wet materials. We will not use the new Milwaukee Heavy Vacuum to pick up wet material. We will use older vacuums without filters. We will now look at the operator's manual for the SDS Max Dust Extractor Unit. When opening to the first page, we can see that the SDS Max Dust Extraction Attachment is compliant with Table 1 of OSHA Standard 29 CFR. When turning to page 2, we can see directions for connecting the vacuum hose and installing and removing brush rings. Pictures show how to properly line up your hammer drill bit when using the attachment.